for I'm sure all of us, this has been another week of witnessing a saddened and horrific acts of racism towards a black man. I'm sure many of us uh, heard, witnessed on the news, saw footage of um, George Floyd being essentially murdered in broad daylight uh, by a police officer. And once again, we're left without words at the circumstance going on around us. And this really does, doesn't this just seem like uh, in the last even four weeks, three months, the names keep coming and it's evident to us that there's a sickness of systemic racism surrounding us wherever we find ourselves. And so before we move too far, we want to pause and sit in that space of lament. Those names that we need to keep before us, Ahmed Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Christian Cooper, George Floyd, and these are just in the last number of weeks. And so maybe you find yourself after sitting with news uh, streams and sitting with this, not sure quite what to do or say. Maybe you're just filled with outrage and you know exactly what you want to do or say. Maybe you know you're compelled to take action. As a church, we know that we have a response too. This is the time for us to listen and to learn and to have conversation and to move into action, to do all of those things. And we will, we will process and we will continue to have these conversations and be the advocates that Jesus asks us to be. But this moment, we wanna take space to lament. And it, it goes without saying, but hear me say again, that this is not how it is supposed to be. And to the people of color in our Meeting House community, I say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your experience may mirror what we've heard about and read about and seen in the news this week. I've heard from many of you and read many of your voices and I hear you say that you're tired and you're longing for advocacy and you're longing for change. <clears throat> and so we hear that and we respond. And for those in our community who are white, we do need to take a posture of listening and learning. And we do this together as a community of all sorts of diverse uh, racial experiences and uh, cultural experiences. And we are the body and we step into this together. But this morning we hold space for lament and we respond with a desire to continue to listen and to learn and to take action. But in this moment, will, will you pray with me? And I've written out the prayer. I want, I want this to be a moment of, of pause. So forgive me for having written it out, but I would love for us now to just enter into a prayer of lament for the space we find ourselves in. So pray, let's pray. God, we come to you today as a Meeting House community and as part of your larger body of believers. And we know that you have made each human being in your image. And today we come to you in lament. And the actions that we have watched and witnessed and seen in the news this week are not how it is supposed to be. And our hearts are grieved. God, every act of racial injustice and life that is taken is a denial of life in your kingdom. And so today we pray that it is your kingdom that come. Your kingdom that includes every tribe, every tongue and every nation. God, we ask, we hold space to grieve and to learn and to listen and to be angered by these horrific acts. And we ask that it's you that penetrate our heart to be broken in the way that yours is. Please reveal to us the way that our own hearts hold racism or an action or apathy or entitlement and lead us to repentance. Move us to action. We pray healing for our own brothers and sisters in our community who have experienced racial injustice. May their experience of the body of Christ be one of healing, like a calming salve, a place of peace. And we confess as the church and we repent for the times that we haven't been this. We ask for a unity and a humility to learn from one another, encourage one another, and together move your kingdom forward. Your kingdom, which brings love and justice. And God, as we hear those words play over in our head and our hearts today, the words of George Floyd crying out for breath <laughs> and literally crying out, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. We were actually reminded today, particularly that this is the day of Pentecost. This is the day that as your church, we celebrate and are reminded of the coming of your spirit, your spirit that actually is breath in us. And so may we be so filled and so moved by your spirit that it is your breath that gives us a voice of justice and of passion and of advocacy to move in and break this sin, the sickness of racism. Your breath in and through us that breaks the system. Your breath in and through us 
that links arms and allows us to say we are in this together. And God, I ultimately, I admit, I don't actually have the words to pray. And so we sit and again, we let your spirit groan on our behalf in lament and in grief and in deep, deep sorrow. Lord, have mercy and may your kingdom come. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.